I do need to know why they might have arisen. Stella talked to Stark in the garden. She talks to many of the patients. What of it? Stella? Charlie was fond of him, so of course I spoke to him occasionally. You danced with him at the ball? I danced with you, too. It's true. My God. Does Max know? I suspect so. It's a bloody catastrophe. The Home Office will be apoplectic. And in my last year. Doubtless they require a head to roam. But they're not having mine. Did you never think the man might try to escape? Of course not. Otherwise, I would have prevented it. And you're right about Max. He's not for us. Appalling, bloody, stupid woman. She, she practically chauffeured the man out of the door. As for the wife, never in 40 years. He obviously has no control over her. He'll be her next prey, for God's sake. He'll have to go. May I suggest that we don't toss that particular bone to the press? At least, not yet. He'll be crucified in the papers as it is. They love a madman on the loose. We must preserve the integrity of the hospital for the future. Peter, when the inspector arrives, do you think we can play down the more lurid aspects of Stark's recent activities? Oh, naturally. Do you, do you think Stella helped him to escape? Unwittingly. She was manipulated. I suspect she's fallen in love. 